It's time for 300 days in Minecraft Fusion Pixel 1. I loaded into the server and got my daily reward, which ended up being a great lucky block. I upgraded it and it went into a rare lucky block. I opened it up and what do you know, I got myself a legendary Giratina. Now, if you guys remember back into the previous 100 days, I also caught myself on Arceus at the end of my 200 days. And with this, I now have two Pokemon I can fuse together, which is Arceus and Giratina. I added the fusion key, and I can now create Gracias, the legendary god Pokemon. The combination of the ruler of the underworld and the god. He looked so cool. I was so, so happy with this Pokemon. And as usual, I headed straight over to the level grinder and leveled up Gracias to level 100. Which is where I got his new signature move, Descent from Grace. An extremely powerful normal type move with 200 power, but I've only got one use of it per battle, so I've got to use it wisely. I then met someone who was a fan of the channel on the server called The Collector, and he explained to me that he wanted me to catch him a Psyduck, as he was collecting every different type of Psyduck on the server. That doesn't just include the normal Psyduck and the shiny Psyduck, he wanted original trainers of certain ranks on the server, and that included the YouTube rank, which he hadn't got yet. So he asked me if I could catch him one. So I went out, found myself a Psyduck, and then teleported to his base, where he showed off this amazing collection, where he had the entirety of the original 151 Pokemon. He had all the Mega Stones, he had all the different types of armor, all the different stones. He had so much in his collection. So I sent him over the Psyduck to help with his collection, and then he showed off a bunch more of his base. It was so cool. And if you guys want to join me on the server, you just need to type in the IP that will be down in the description, which is play.smashmc.co. And then you could try and find me on the server and show off your insane bases as well. I then decided to grab out my Delphox from the PC. And if you remember previously in the past couple hundred days, I have been trying to catch a Darkrai for so long. And unfortunately though, when I went to the Dark Oak Forest to try and find it, it was the correct moon rotation. But as it was sunrise, the moon had already gone down and I'd missed my chance. So I was going to have to wait a lot longer to be able to get the correct moon rotation. So I headed back and sorted through my PCs to grab out all of the Pokemon that I knew had fusions at the moment on the server. I ended up grabbing out a Blaziken, a Cinderace, a Pachirisu, a Charmander, a Tepig, and even a Ryolu. And now I had all the Pokemon that I'd previously caught that I'd be able to use to turn into fusion Pokemon later in the 100 days. But for this particular hunt, I decided to grab out my Charmander. And luckily, when I caught him in the war zone, he was level 98. So it wasn't a lost cause just yet. I was actually able to get him up to a Charizard later on. So I headed out and found the biome I was looking for, which is a Mega Tiger Hills. This biome's quite rare, so it took me quite a while to find. But after I found it, I pillared up with dirt and made a giant grass platform and afk for quite a while. And then when I got a bit bored, I decided to evolve my Charmander into a Charmeleon, and then a Charmeleon up into a Charizard. And whilst doing that, I then looked at my Charizard, and a Zekrom had spawned. There was no way I got so lucky with this. And it was definitely well-deserved after making such an enormous platform just to get this one legendary to spawn. But I was super happy now that I had it. So I rushed straight over to the fusion machine, put in my Charizard and my Zekrom, added in the fusion key, and created Zekazard. He was such a cool fusion Pokemon. I was so happy to finally have the second fusion Pokemon of this 300 days. And don't forget, if you guys love these fusions just as much as I do, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like the video. I then headed out to explore a little bit more to find more fusion Pokemon, where I ended up running across a Savannah biome. So I completed a couple raid dens, and then came across this mega boss Kangaskhan. After defeating him, I then AFK'd in the Savannah biome as it was a legendary that I wanted to catch. Whilst AFKing though for so long, I had a shiny Hone Edge spawn. And if you guys have seen Shiny Hone Edge, he is one of the coolest shiny Pokemon. I loved him so much. Unfortunately though, he doesn't have a fusion yet. Eventually though, after days of searching, Victini finally spawned. So I headed back to the fusion machine, I grabbed out my Mew and my Victini, and I created Mewtini. The tiny little mythical fusion Pokemon. I loved him so much. He was so cute. I then headed home and checked out all three fusions I'd made with the giant Gracias and the pretty huge Zekazard and the tiny little Mutini. I was so happy with what I'd finally achieved so far on this 300 days. 
And if you guys want to see more fusion Pokemon, I'm planning to do up to 500 days of this fusion series. And if you guys want to see more of these fusions, make sure to let me know in the comments or subscribe to the channel. And since I'd spent so much time on this server over the past 300 days, I didn't actually realize, but there's actually a battle pass feature on the server, which means the more that you do and the more that you unlock, you get a bunch of really cool rewards just by playing on the server and completing random tasks. And since I hadn't claimed any up to 300 days, I had so much to claim, including a bunch of different lucky blocks, which I'd be able to use to upgrade hopefully and get loads of cool Pokemon. So I rushed straight outside and was preparing to open up all of my lucky blocks. First, I decided though, that because I'd gotten an egg from the battle pass, I grabbed out my Talon Flame, which has the ability Flame Body, and I hatched out the egg. I managed to get myself a custom skin Anubis Pumpkaboo, which is super cool. There's so many cool custom textures on the server, but I didn't really care about many of them because I only care about the fusion Pokemon. So we opened up our lucky blocks, hoping to get something cool. I managed to get a Crobat, but it's not a fusion Pokemon. So we continued opening the lucky blocks where I got a shiny Slowpoke, and then I got an upgrade to a rare lucky block. I was so excited to open this bad boy. So I caught the shiny Slowpoke and then prepared to get my legendary Pokemon. And what do you know? I opened up the rare lucky block and actually got a dark cry, which was so lucky, as I thought I was going to have to spend so many days just trying to find a dark cry on the current moon rotation. So I headed back over to the fusion machine, put in the dark cry and the Delphox, fox, and I created Darfox, the super cool fusion Pokemon. Between my favorite Pokemon Darkrai and Delphox, I was so happy with this one. As you can tell by the amazing thumbnail. I then decided to head back over to my massive platform, as for some reason, I thought I needed to catch a Pachirisu still. Even though if you remember before, I literally put one in my PC. But I headed back out and caught another Pachirisu anyway. And in order to fuse a Pachirisu, I had to find a Manaphy. So I just circled around my base because it's surrounded by a deep ocean. But unfortunately, I didn't have any luck. So I headed out to find something different. And that Pokemon was going to be in a dark oak forest. So I headed straight back over and I found the Phantom. Now, in order to fuse a Phantom, I would need a Mimikyu, which I ended up finding not too long after. So I headed back to the fusion machine. I put in my Phantom and I put my Mimikyu and I fused them together to create Phantomime which was an awesome fusion Pokemon. I was so happy with it because Mimikyu is one of my favorites. I then headed back over to the level grinder and leveled up my entire fusion team up to level 100, meaning I now had five different fusion Pokemon that I'd have on my team. So I grabbed up my score bunny and took it straight back to the level grinder and I evolved it all the way up into a Cinderace. I then RTP'd back out as I wanted to find a certain biome in particular. I wasn't able to find it just yet, so I decided to head down into the mines. As if you remember previously in the first 100 days, I had to grab so many ores in order to get myself a Meltan. So I went back to it again and smelted up a bunch of ores in all of my furnaces until eventually I finally had the Meltan spawn on me again, which was super lucky. I was so happy to finally have a second Meltan. So I captured the Meltan and then grabbed out my Tepig that I'd caught previously and headed back to evolve my Meltan. And if you remember previously, all you've got to do to evolve it is smelt up 400 ores, collect them out of the furnaces and then level up the Meltan in order for him to evolve into a Melmetal. Now that I had a Melmetal, all I had to do was evolve my Tepig. So I used my remaining rare candies to use on the Tepig to get him to a Pignite, and then from a Pignite up into an Embor. With that, I could now make my sixth fusion Pokemon. Melmetal and Tepig with the fusion key creates Melbor. Not my favorite fusion, but I thought he was still super cool. And I was super happy to now have a full team of six fusion Pokemon. I then headed back out as I wanted to find a certain biome, like I said before when I was RTPing. I've managed to actually find it this time. The biome I was looking for was a bamboo forest. And that's because a certain legendary Pokemon called Kubfu spawns in this biome. It's a super rare spawn, but I really needed it to fuse with my Cinderace. So once I got there, I cleared out a massive area in the forest and then waited for it to spawn. While I was waiting, I had a mega boss Sceptile spawn, which I defeated. Then I got super bored because I was waiting for days and days. So I just opened up a bunch of lucky blocks. I managed to get two upgrades on my lucky blocks, 
which ended up being two legendary Pokemon. The first one ended up being a Mew, which I was super happy about, although we'd seen quite a few Mews in this previous 100 days. But I did actually need this Mew, as I would need a Mewtwo for a certain fusion at some point. I then also opened my second Ultra Lucky Block and got myself a Kyogre, which I was so happy about as I needed another Kyogre to make certain fusion Pokemon later in the 100 days. I then AFK for a little longer where I had a shiny Joltik spawn on me. Eventually, I finally found Kubfu, managed to catch him, and then headed back home. Now, in order to evolve my Kubfu into an Urshifu, I would need to find an Urshifu tower. And there'd be a flag at the top of this tower, which I would show to my Kubfu, which would evolve him. I then came across an Ice Spike biome. So I waited around until eventually a Hisuian Zoroa spawn, which is one of my favorite Pokemon. I once again love this Pokemon. I then continued to hunt for the Urshifu tower, where I managed to find the water Urshifu tower. And then I evolved my Kubfu into a water type Urshifu. With that, I'd already leveled up my Cinderace, so I headed back to the Fusion Machine, put in my Urshifu and my Cinderace, along with the Fusion Key, and I created Cindershifu, which was a super cool fighting fire type Pokemon. I was so happy with this guy. He reminded me a little bit of a Bugs Bunny, but I was super happy either way, because I'd created another Fusion Pokemon, which meant I was one step closer to completing my goal of catching every Fusion Pokemon. I did recently just catch the Hisuian Zoroa, which meant that I would have another fusion ready. I would just have to evolve them both up into their final forms. So I headed to the level grinder, evolved up my Hisuian Zoroa into a Hisuian Zoroark, and then my Ryolu into a Lucario. With that, I headed to the fusion machine and created Zorcario, a super cool fusion Pokemon. And as Lucario, once again, is one of my favorite Pokemon, he is my top two Pokemon. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments what your favorite Pokemon is. And if it's a fusion, I will try to make it in the 400 days of this series. As we were coming closer to 300 days, I rushed out to find myself a jungle biome. As there was another legendary that I would need in the jungle that would make an awesome fusion Pokemon. So I found a jungle biome finally, headed up into the trees and waited and AFK'd until the legendary spawn. Unfortunately, it took ages to spawn, so once again like before, I decided to just open up some lucky blocks. Unfortunately, I didn't get any upgrades, so I just caught the shiny Pokemon and then continued hunting for the legendary Pokemon. Eventually, after days of waiting, I finally had a Tapu Koko spawn on me. I was so happy that I now had Tapu Koko because I already had the Blaziken I was going to need to fuse this Pokemon. So once again, we headed back to the fusion machine, put in Tapu Koko and Blaziken, and we created Blazikoko, a super cool fusion Pokemon. And I've already used this fusion Pokemon, but you guys haven't seen that video yet. So when it comes out, let me know in the comments if you remember seeing this fusion Pokemon in this series. So I headed back to my base and just AFK'd around the edges of my island until eventually I had a Mega Boss spawn on me. It wasn't quite Manaphy, but it was a super cool Mega Boss Gyarados. So I decided to take it on and managed to defeat it pretty easily. So I headed into the battle and I started with Zorcario and I used his signature move, which was really cool as it was a move where sort of like transform with Mew and Zoroark with its illusion. When I use that move, it does damage and it also turns me into the Pokemon I'm battling. Eventually, though, I managed to defeat the Gyarados and got myself some decent loot. I then continued hunting for days for this Manaphy to spawn. Until eventually, I got so lucky and it actually managed to spawn on me. So I quickly rushed into the water and engaged in battle with the Manaphy, which I ended up catching pretty quickly. With that, I then headed back over to the Fusion Machine, added in my Manaphy and my Pachirisu, and created Manarisu, the tiny little mythical fusion Pokemon. I was so happy with it. It was so cute. And since we had a couple days left to spare, I decided instead of rushing around, I'd head into the biome of the Pokemon that I wanted to catch next for the 400 days of this series. And that biome was a swamp biome. After I'd eventually found it, I AFK'd there for the last remaining days until eventually I finally had it spawn on me. It was Eternatus. Stay tuned for 400 days if you want to see what I fuse this Pokemon with. 